where just hours ago, Barack Obama began a second term as U.S. president. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Mike Walter. The president's big speech comes about 16 hours from right now when he addresses hundreds of thousands of people on the National Mall here in Washington. However, as we mentioned, he is already sworn in, taking that oath just before noon local time inside the White House. But tomorrow are all the ceremonies, the luncheons, the dinners, and the big events around town. CCTV's Nina Donahue is at the White House tonight. Nina, why was there a swearing-in ceremony today, even though the actual main events take place tomorrow? Well, it's all about the U.S. Constitution, Mike. Uh, there's a law that says that every president has to uh, go through his inauguration ceremony on, before January the 20th. And January the 20th fell on a Sunday this year here in Washington. So that's why we had a much smaller scale ceremony at the White House earlier. Hi, Barack Hussein Obama. Do solemnly swear? The first oath for a second term. For the Obamas, a low-key ceremony in their home for another four years. Congratulations, Mr. President. America's first family dressed mostly in the same color as the blue room of the White House. Repeat after me. Also in office for a second term, Vice President Joe Biden, taking part in his own ceremony at home, surrounded by his wife Jill and extended family. But earlier, an altogether more somber occasion. Obama and Biden side by side at the National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia, laying a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns. A mark of respect for America's fallen soldiers. And a reminder, perhaps, that he fulfilled his first-term promise to wind down the Afghan and Iraq wars. Obama has made public service a theme on the eve of the ceremony rolling up his sleeves to help renovate a local school on the annual National Day of Service on Saturday. And one of only two official inaugural balls will honor the military. His first inauguration made history in scale and substance. The first black American president drew crowds of almost two million to Washington, D.C. This year, the crowds won't be quite as big, but the city is still bracing itself for crowds of around 800,000. Thousand will undoubtedly be listening to his inaugural address. This is a major speech. Uh, what do we expect to hear from him? Nina Donahue at the White House for us tonight.